Hey guys, welcome back to the Fellowship of Stealth. This is season three. This will be episode one. I've got a lot planned for this year. And uh, I'm feeling really good today because I've been really eager to get back out in the woods, get back out into stealthing. Just had a lot going on and it was too cold. Uh, but now the temperature is much better, although it might be a bit wet, but we'll deal with that. Um, so let's do it. Today I am going to be going to a uh, small part of a state recreation area. Uh, it's kind of a triangular piece of land and on one side of the triangle is uh, a road and I guess on the shorter side uh, if you go far enough down it would border up to private property and the other edge of the triangle will be a, a series of uh, railroad tracks. So I am excited to go down there. I, I saw some rail cars. I hope we get to walk by those and explore them. I'll try to find a spot that's not too wet and set up. And we'll do the night. This will be the first one. I'm excited. Okay, loaded up, ready to go. I parked at a church. Um, it is uh, the Saturday before Easter here. So in the morning it'll be busy, but right now it's empty. And I'm just gonna cut in through some pine trees if I can get my bag down and we'll be right at the railroad as you can see they're right here uh, now I'm not sure how often trains go by I guess we'll find out right there you can see train cars we're gonna get right up by him. So I'm not even at the spot I need to be yet, but I'm feeling great. It's been a very long week, and it's been lots of rain and water and flooding in our area, and my basement flooded. And so that was a crazy week, trying to deal with that. So this will be a well-deserved night in the woods. If you look on the side, you can see all the water, and that's going to be for a ways here at least, and it's on both sides. So I really hope a train doesn't come as I'm walking in because I kind of just have to stand on the side. I'm not going to run through the water. So we're almost to these train cars. We're going to check them out. But that was probably one of the easiest entries I've ever had. Um, as you can see, that's just rail going down that way. That's woods. There was one house at the beginning um, next to the church. And you see the bend. This takes a bend that way. So even where the cars were, where they crossed the, the tracks, you can't see me now. And eventually we'll come up to some other houses on my left here. Um, but I don't think they get too close to the tracks. Well, here we are. Walking by all these tankers. These rail cars that are pulling some sort of liquid or oil or chemical or something. In case of emergency. There it is right there. Call 1-800-something-something. Liquefied petroleum gas. There we go. Um, geez. You know, with all the derailments that have been happening over the last, I don't know, it seems to be a month or two maybe, all the crazy spills they've been having. Makes you think if that's the safest way to transport that stuff or not. I don't know. Still, it's pretty cool to walk by these. You know, you see them when you're in your car driving. Uh, they're going fairly fast most of the time, but they don't seem so long when they're passing by you. But when you walk by them, you really get an idea of how long each one of these cars are. You know, I guess if I had to, if I heard a train coming on the tracks I'm walking on, 
I could just go down underneath one of those cars, kind of scoot on the other edge. I don't think they'd even know I was there. Um, sure, I'm not going to go through the swamp, though. I'm actually hoping as I get up farther, that water dries up. I think it will, because there's some pines up there where I want to go. But we'll see. You know, most of these cars look to be in good shape, and it's surprising to see uh, how little graffiti is on them. Here's one here that's been tagged. Um, oh, oh, look at that. Anyways, this little graffiti here. Yeah. And this one actually got it too. But most of them don't have anything on it. Kind of a rarity. Well, here's a different type of car. There goes our friend. He had enough of me. Well, knew I'd find at least one railroad spike. Um, <laughs> there's a lot missing, actually. Kind of gives you a thought to why maybe there could be derailments. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you where I'm heading up here. So, you can see I'm up to kind of the point of the triangle up there is where the cars are crossing. And to the right, there's those pines. And that backs up over to this little lake here, which I've done fishing in. Um, it's pretty good for crappie in there. But I kind of wanted to go on the left of the train. So you see where those hardwoods are on the left up there. I'm hoping that's where I can go in. If not, I can try to head to the right where the pines are. Either way, we should be okay. I'll tell you, a few of these cars that I've walked past, um, they make noises. I'm assuming it's because they're black and the sun's hitting them and they're heating up. And I don't know if it's just the metal that makes noise, but you hear noises on them. And we should be good without water. Um, I could go in right there and look for a spot. Um, but I also kind of, well, I don't know that other side. Might be a little swampy. Okay, I'm just gonna go a bit further and see if it's not swampy on the left. I know it's not on the right. Right is absolutely behind me here. 100% doable. But I want to see over here to the left a little bit. Um, I think we could. It looks a little thick back there. Um, might be better on the right. We're almost here at the end of the train, though. i got to be careful because cars go by and I don't want to cop. Uh, however much I like them, I don't want one to see me over here so let's do this quickly oh no can you see over there that's all water it's all flooded where i wanted to go okay okay we're heading back and we're going into the left here over behind me and we'll find a spot and hang low for a bit and then set up okay I'm heading in Vegetation isn't so bad over here. Oh, there are some thorns to watch out for. And, well, beer cans down there. So someone else, oh, that was my finger, has been through here before too. But I'm gonna come over. Hmm. I'm going to explore a little bit this way, and if this doesn't work, I'm going to go over by the pine trees. All right, let me show you what I'm seeing. 
Through there is that lake. This is a pretty open area. Um, oh, I could do a hammock maybe right there. Let's check it out. This tree to the big one. We could do that. It's hard to see with the sun here. Yeah, that side is the lake's right there. And I'm blocked from the road. This might be the spot. This might be a winner right away. I'm going to drop my pack and check out a few others, though. I'll take you with me. All right, we're just going to head over to those pines and take a quick look over there. Tell you what, it feels good just to be out. It smells good. Such fresh air. And it's about 50 degrees right now. So this is like perfect temperature. The low tonight is supposed to be around 30. So I brought my usual setup. It's the Hennessy hammock. It's the underquilt, the overquilt. But I also brought a sleeping bag. Um, just in case. I don't want to be cold. All right, we're almost there. Let me turn you around, you can see. It still never ceases to amaze me how much trash you see everywhere. Someone dumped here. I think there's a two track that comes in here off the road and it looks like someone came back from roofing and dumped their tear off here. But we're going over to these pines, which are a lot closer to the tracks. But here we go. I mean, this is pretty open. The hammocks would do really good in here, too. Um, it's a tad bit closer to the road, but it's a nice spot. Well, this is nice. I like it. Look in here. It's open. Pines are here. It's a little closer to the road. I don't really know if it's any louder or I guess any less loud at the farther spot. But it's open. Um, you know, I suppose if someone else was walking down the tracks, they could see my camp. And uh, if a train went by, I don't know that they'd see unless I had a light on. But I don't know. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. Oh! Look at this. Fire pit. Um, gosh, I don't know how long ago that would have been used, but a spot next to the tracks, a fire pit, which I'm not going to use, but it would be cool. And the pine trees. Oh, decisions. What do I do? I'm going to think about this for a minute, and I'll let you know. Well, first trip of the season, and of course there's going to be a few bugs to work out. Number one, I forgot to put on my wireless mic, so the whole walk down here uh, was just the sound recording on the actual camera itself. So. If that's not the best, I apologize, but I should have this all set and working good now. Uh, this is a spot I chose, which is the pine tree area. Behind me, if you go back far enough, is the lake. Just <laughs> right on the other side of me are the train tracks. So if a train comes through tonight, it's going to be interesting. Uh, if that happens, I'll try to catch it on the camera for you guys, too. But... I'm gonna wait a little bit to set up. I've still got some sunlight and I'm gonna actually enjoy a beer and have a little bite to eat before I set up. And the beer today is a special treat because we can't get this beer up here. This is Yingling, traditional lager, 
America's oldest brewery. Cheers. Oh, so good. Brought this back up. Uh, a number of cases of this back up from my recent vacation in Florida where I wanted to do a stealther. I thought about it, but time was really tight. Locations were hard to find. And uh, the few places I thought about, there was a lot of alligators. Uh, it's actually one of the nature preserves we went hiking on there. And uh, <laughs> we saw some big ones. So maybe in the future, but not this year. So I kind of already ate at home, but I'm still a little hungry. I just stopped at one of the shops, the little places on the way here and picked up a few pieces of fried chicken to enjoy with my beer. So I'm gonna eat that. The fried chicken's always good. And seems even tastier in the woods. I don't know. Everything seems better when you're out in the woods. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, finish these up and uh, relax a bit. I'll be back in a little bit. Well, that was delicious. Uh, fried chicken always hits the spot and a yingling's pretty good. And I've got a few more of those to come for tonight. For now though, I'm just gonna, oh, just maybe walk around a little bit in here, explore, and uh, then get the hammock strung up. I don't wanna do it too soon, just in case someone else comes walking down the tracks, it's possible. Uh, kids or people cutting across to go from this road to the other one, something like that. But I'll get it up soon but we'll see what else we can see around here. Trash, 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 always trash. And there are holes in there. Target practice, that's what that was. Um, let's get a little closer to the lake. Let's see if it's not too swampy and we can get a look at it. Bottles, plastic. Glass bottles, glass bottle, that's a liquor bottle. And that's a shell. And that's a fuel canister from a Coleman stove or something. There's more shells, there's more liquor bottles. Um, yeah, we're gonna squeeze out through here and see what it looks like. I don't see any thorns, oh no I do. Ow. Oh, it gets my fingers. Okay. Well, pulling half a tree or bush with me here. Uh, these guys, I guess it's better the pants than my fingers. But oh, that's really got them. I gotta put this down to get it out. Okay, thorns removed from clothing. And this is a little open spot here. Um, it's not so flat, it's pretty bumpy. There's that little trail. I don't know how they could have got something in here. Maybe it used to be a big or two track when they dumped that pile of roofing debris over there, but this is over to the lake. We're almost there. Oh, little swampy spot. Check this out. I think that will be okay. Ah, I bet guys come back here fishing. Oh, yeah, there's the lake right there. It's a little buggier over here. Um, ooh, see a tons of them in the sunlight over there. And I don't want to get a wet foot, so I don't think I'm going to go any closer than that. 
Um, we'll actually work our way back out. Oh, soft ground. And back up to the clearing. I got a lot of new gear since my last Stealther in season two, um, primarily presents <clears throat> for Christmas from my wife or kids, uh, a few things I got myself, but uh, I'm not using all of them today. When we get back over to the camp and I get my hammock strung, I'll show you uh, the new pack that I have. And slowly, as I get more stealthers in this season, I'll show you the other stuff I have. And I'll let you know how it's working. But I'm excited for some of this gear. But let me get back and maybe string up the hammock. Okay, before I string the hammock up, um, I'll show you the the pack because I got to open it to take everything out anyways this is the pack uh, it's nothing special but it's a Teton Teton Sports um, this is 65 liters the old pack I was using was a smaller camo pack it said 40 liters but that was including lots of little pouches on the sides um, and I had such a hard time packing it. It was, it fit everything, but just barely. And it took a long time to get everything to fit just right. So this is a little bigger, um, but it fits more, it fits more easily as well. And, uh, you know, I wanted a smaller pack, so I was a little less conspicuous walking with it. But in the end, um, you know, I see people walking down the roads with all sorts of backpacks on, so um, I don't think the size really matters that much. So a bigger one to fit more stuff and to be able to pack it quicker to get out for a stealther. That's why I wanted this pack. I still wanted green and black. It's not camo, but it's better than something bright orange or bright blue or bright yellow, which a lot of stuff usually is. I'm um, trying to get everything changed over to... Uh, camo or green and black and gray and brown colors earth colors that, that will blend in and be able to hide a little bit easier but that's the pack um, it's got a big pouch there two on the sides there it does have a webbing pouch uh, bottom compartment for the sleeping bag bigger compartment for everything else of course there's storage under the front top um, it's padded really nice in the front it's not a bad pack uh, it's probably a third or quarter of the cost of some of my actual backpacking packs, but um, for stealthing, I think this is going to work really good. It was very comfortable walking in today with it. So I'm going to pop this open and get the hammock strung. Okay, let me show you what I did. Hammocks strung up between the trees. I, I like to leave it like that because Gosh, at, just at a glance, it's like a log or a branch or a tree, part of a tree, something. Um, people might not notice it. And I moved my bag and my chair and stuff kind of back behind that larger tree, just so it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. I'm gonna get my trash down here, packed up, and I'm gonna relax and explore the other way. And uh, when I, when the sun goes down a little bit more, I'll come and put the underquilt on and open up the hammock and get some other stuff on it. I don't think I need the tarp tonight. Uh, according to the radar, no rain. So that'll be nice. Stay around. I have the trash picked up, ready to pack out. And I'm gonna risk going back up here by the train cars for a minute and check them out a little closer than I did just when I was walking by them. Gotta be careful though because the road is right over there. 
water. Come over here. And off to our land. I don't know. But yeah. Here is the train car. Wheels look rusty. Maybe they haven't been moved in a long time. I don't know why they just leave this sitting here, but I drive by the road over there frequently and I always see cars over here. I just assumed they were always different ones and not the same. Maybe this one's been sitting here for some time. Look at that coupling. That's heavy duty. Um, capacity. 34,160 gallons. Uh, that's a lot. 36 inch wheels. I'd kind of like to climb up on top of one, but I'm a little leery because I don't want someone to see me doing that and think I'm doing something to it. I don't know. So Maybe I'll go down just a little farther this way again. They're all kind of the same though. I mean, you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all when they're this kind of rail car. This is my second time um, doing a stealther next to railroad tracks. The first one I did went really well. I did, <laughs> I did get poison ivy when I did that one last year um, but it was easy in ooh, easy out for that one too and one train came by in the middle of the night uh, maybe it wasn't quite the middle of the night maybe it was closer to just the evening um, but that that's all that came by when I did that one so it didn't wake me up in the middle of the night but I was I think a little bit farther away from them for that one. This one I'm a lot closer. Um, yeah, this is nice. And it's cool if a train comes through, but at the same time it's loud and it wakes you up, but it's cool. So we'll see what happens tonight. Um, I think I've mentioned it many times. I'm just excited to be out and this was one I've been thinking about at least all of last year and over the winter. And it, it's close to my place and it's easy to do. So I thought, well, let's get this one out of the way first. And uh, I've got some other ones, especially they're gonna be a little bit farther up north in some very cool locations planned. But that has to be in the middle of summer for those ones. Definitely has to be warmer and I want more vegetation when I do those ones. So those, I'm not gonna say what they are. Those are a surprise, they're coming. But if you keep coming back, you'll see them. And I hope you do, right? I hope you subscribe. I uh, started this just to have fun. And I've, I guess I've got a decent amount of subscribers. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe like the videos throw some comments up there i get notifications i try to reply back to everyone that says something um, but this is fun to do i like camping i like hiking i like backpacking i like the stealth element it's something as a kid we always enjoyed sneaking out and sneaking into places that maybe you weren't supposed to be um, check out the psychiatric hospital two-parter from last season, if you haven't seen it. Um, I wanna get back there this summer too and bring some other guys with me. This is the Fellowship of Stealth after all. I'm supposed to be a fellowship, supposed to have others with me. Um, it's hard to get everyone's schedule to, to mesh so that we can do some things sometimes, but I definitely wanna get out with other people. That makes it more fun too, but I don't mind the solitude of the woods. It's very peaceful. Um, well, I'm just going to hang out for a bit. I might crack open another beer 
And when that sun goes down a little bit farther, I'm gonna tend to the hammock. This was one of the upgrades, whoops, I got last year. Not, not this year, this isn't new. This was new last year. This is the Carhartt cooler when I bring food that is not prepared previously, like fried chicken, stuff I'm gonna make, that's where it goes. That's where my beer goes. Yingling. But it's black and it works great and it keeps stuff cold nicely. And um, did I mention it's black? So yeah, the previous one I had was bright blue, kind of like that sleeping pad. Normally I would never bring a sleeping pad but I'm a little leery of it being cold tonight. And I brought the sleeping bag and the pad because I might blow up and put the pad in the hammock so that uh, my back isn't cold from underneath. So we'll see if I need that or not, but last minute decision to bring, but it's gray on the outside, but it's blue, of course, on the inside, like a lot of backpacking gear is. Hopefully I don't need it. Well, Cheers again, guys. Oh, you know, last fall, once or twice I tried to get out and I was thwarted once by hunters uh, and the other time by the weather. And then it got cold and I don't like the cold. Um, so I just, decided to wait through the winter and come out in the spring as soon as I could. And there's been a couple weekends prior to my trip to Florida. I almost went out, but the lows got, the lows got down in the low twenties. Um, and I like to enjoy it. I like to sit and take in the sounds and the smells of the woods and just relax. It's kind of like meditation for me. And when it's so cold, <laughs> I, I can't relax. So I'm glad the season is here. I'm glad I'm out. Uh, I've been watching some of the other guys on YouTube that have channels and have their stealth camping trips and yeah, makes me jealous. But now I'm out. Now I'm joining you guys. Okay, I just found two ticks on me. Uh, one started crawling across my hand, the backside of my hand. And then when I examined my arm, I found one crawling up the sleeve of my sweatshirt. So I just took every, well, took my sweatshirt and shirt off, did a as thorough a tick check as I could do out here. Didn't see anything else, but I'm not gonna go back through anything else uh, as I didn't bring any spray with me today. Didn't think I would really need it gonna have to make sure every time I come I bring it uh, but the Sun is going down and I think that means it's time to get oh, everything set up in the hammock because it is definitely getting a little cooler out it has dipped down into the 40s for sure so let me set that up and then I'll show it to you okay camp is set I'm gonna show it to you here um, I've got the hammock, Hennessy hammock, same as last year. I've still got the same underquilt as last year. Um, doesn't quite fit. It, it does the job. I want to get a new one. Uh, I got to look. Hennessy's set up for a four season is a little different than, um, than I want to do. It's more involved. I need something quick. So this uh, Ayamaya under quilt and it just has a little carabiner that, that clips on like that and it makes it fast but as you can see it doesn't quite come out far enough but it does the job um, inside you can see the blue i did put the sleeping pad because in my experience on the appalachian trail doing the hammock without a pad when it gets down to 40 um, or less even when it's a little higher than that, that wind that comes and goes right underneath 
it just it just seeps the heat from your body and i had a very bad cold sleepless night on the at and i don't want that again tonight so pad is there you can see i have the bag and just because it was in my pack i also have the overquilt so i'm gonna get in get on the pad get in the bag and if i get cold i have the overquilt to pull over me too so i should be pretty good i hope i don't want to be cold um, but there's a setup and i'm going to go out to the tracks and look back in and see what it looks like ah i said i wasn't going to go through stuff anymore because i don't want to tick so i'm going to try to very carefully get out here without touching a lot of this stuff okay let's quickly go back up here and as you can see the hammock uh, is right there <laughs> you can see it i guess if you're going by and you're a conductor uh engineer in a train and you look over you're not going to see it it's just kind of dark especially at night someone walking by would definitely notice it though um there's that road over there <clears throat> only thing i'm worried about is someone driving by and looking at me while i'm out on the tracks so let's get back in here do another quick tick check at least on my clothes and then i won't go back through this shit again until tomorrow when i'm leaving wouldn't it be nice to have a big roaring fire okay i'm gonna go sit down finish that other beer and uh work on a third one i think well it's about 8 30 and um it's getting cold <laughs> the sun is setting and not a train has gone by yet and no voices no people nothing but just the cars going by on the road over by the crossing there that and the peepers that are out those frogs that are out making their songs in the woods here um but i'm getting a little chilly i wonder what the temperature is let's see here it is 44 and it says the low will be 30 degrees at 7 a.m but uh midnight 37 and then it slowly goes down to 30. so definitely not warm camping but it's still fun i think i'll wait here a little bit longer and um enjoy this third beer and once i get maybe too cold i'll go climb in the hammock and see if i can get warm all right it's i think a little after nine and definitely a little chilly i'm gonna head into the hammock and i'm gonna get a good night's sleep it's been a really hard busy week cleaning up a flooded basement tearing up carpet uh it's just been a mess so i'm really looking forward to this nice sleep in the woods and um i think i've prepared enough that i'm going to be warm so that shouldn't be an issue i will check in with you guys if a train comes or anything happens uh, of interest otherwise i'll see you in the morning decided to come out well good morning it is 6 30 and the birds are definitely out uh, ducks and geese and all sorts of birds and the air is chilly 
I stayed warm. I did just fine with my setup. But yeah, it's it's cool. <laughs> it's gonna be a cool pack up this morning. But I'm gonna get out and start tearing down camp and start hiking out. No train last night. Uh, no train at all. Uh, just the cars on the road and that really died down probably after 1 or 2 a.m. Woke up off and on. The coyotes woke me up last night uh, yipping and yelping but it didn't last too long. And um, clear night, no rain, the moon was up and was pretty bright. But yeah, it's cold. It's time to get up and pack up. Okay, all packed up and ready to head out. Um, absolutely great night. I was afraid of it being cold and the air was cold, but I was toasty warm. Uh, no rain, no moisture at all, no do nothing on any of my gear nothing to dry out that's a bonus i'm gonna grab my pack and head out back down the tracks all right back out we go and Maybe a 10 minute walk. Maybe not that long. That was close. There's the moon up there still. The geese that were going off pretty much all night. And there's the way home. Well, if you're still watching, uh, and at this point you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe it'll I don't know keep you up to date on my adventures uh, backpacking and stealth camping and as I said earlier I have some really cool trips planned for both actually this year um, so I plan to document that upload it as I can hoping to get something up every two weeks um, maybe maybe uh, there will be a few times it might be every week it just depends how often I get out uh, but yeah go ahead and hit subscribe like the video I don't know all that stuff everybody always says to do helps with pulling up the video for other people to see leave a comment too and I'll try to comment back to you. But I am almost out of here on a cool Easter morning. Headed home for some hot breakfast and an Easter egg hunt with the kids. Here we go. There's the car. Right where I left it. And there's already some cars here for Easter Sunday. All right. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Once again, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Come back for my next adventure. It's going to be a good good season. This is only the first episode and there's many more to come. Catch you guys later.